Hi, I'm Justin from T2K and in this video we will be showing you how to install the 3CX smartphone app onto your Android device. Installing and provisioning 3CX is a very simple process and I think you'll be surprised at how quickly you will be up and running. So let's get started. As a first step, we'll log into the web client on our PC. If you're unsure what your login details are, speak to your system administrator who will assist you. Once we're in the web client, look up into the top right hand corner and you'll see the icon of a QR code. Click on it and you'll see a window like this pop up on your screen. This QR code contains all the information your phone will need to configure your extension. So keep this on screen so it's ready once we've installed the app. Moving over to the phone now, I first need to download and install the app. As we're using Android, we'll head over to the Google Play Store. In the search, I'll type 3CX to find the app and I'll click the install button to download it to my phone. Once it's installed, I'll open the app. If you would like to read the license agreement for the app, tap on the license agreement link. Assuming you have read this and are happy, then tap on the blue agree button to proceed. Next, tap the scan QR code button. A box will pop up and ask if you will allow 3CX to take pictures and record video. This will allow 3CX to have access to your camera, so tap on while using the app. Now you will see the camera has been enabled on the phone and it's prompting us to scan the QR code. Move your phone up to your computer screen where you left the QR code visible earlier and you'll see that within a split second your phone is being provisioned and you're personally being greeted by the app. We'll now need to run through and set the permissions for the app. To start this tap on the blue continue button. You'll now be prompted to allow 3CX to record audio. Tap on while using the app. Next you'll see allow 3CX to send you notifications. Ensure that you tap allow for this, otherwise you will not be alerted to incoming calls and messages. Finally, you'll see allow 3CX to make and manage phone calls. Again, tap allow. Next, depending on your device, you may see the following appear. Your battery usage is restricted for 3CX. Android devices manage their battery power by optimizing the way that apps run. In order for 3CX to remain running in the background so you can receive calls, you'll need to ensure that the app is set to don't optimize. To do this, do the following. Tap on the OK button. Now select all apps from the drop down list and locate 3CX in the list. Slide the toggle switch so it no longer shows blue and then press the back button. This change will ensure that 3CX continues to wait for incoming calls in the background. Now you can tap on the blue continue button and that's it. Your Android device is ready to use with 3CX. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you do choose to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos as they're released. In the meantime, why not have a look at some of our other videos? We're building a great collection of tutorials with more added every week. See you in the next one.